Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley and this is part of a crash course on Principle for Mac. Principle is a great tool for creating UI interactions and animations. And on this session, we're going to learn how to create a simple character animation. And it sounds a little bit complicated, but it's super easy and super fun. And I think you're gonna love it. So let's go ahead and do that. So the very first thing that I did was uh, creating the sketch on Photoshop. I just drew it by hand and then I imported that image on sketch and I started adding uh, simple shapes and, and adding vector uh, shapes with the pen tool and I was able to vectorize the character really simply. Hello, so we have finished our design uh, made on Sketch uh, based on the hand-drawn um, sketch made on uh, Photoshop. And here, as you can see, I also changed some of the colors. I added some background. This is just an oval and it has a, a darker color than the background. And yeah, I also added a background color. And now we're ready to export this to Principle. So I'm going to open Principle. And then now here in Principle, the first thing that I'm going to do is import. I'm going to press import and then automatically imports from your last updated sketch file. So there you go. Now I have it here. It's uh, it's uh, pretty good. All my layers are here. Let me check. So glasses, eyes, body, all of these uh, have art on groups and this is how I made them on sketch. So it's respecting all of it. So the first thing that I want to do to start animating this character is to actually duplicate this artboard, this screen. So I'm going to press the and then automatically it duplicates here. And then over here, let's say this is the first frame. This is the first state of the donut. And then over here, we are going to start saying, how does it move? So I'm going to all of these, pretty much all of the layers. So I'm going to select all of these, except for the shadow. Then I'm going to move them up because it's going to be jumping. So all the way to the edge of the screen, around there. And then over here, I'm going to move this a little bit around there. And then I'm going to rotate the the arms. So I'm going to rotate this one. I think it's uh, going to 40, let's do 30 uh, degrees. And then uh, I want to keep this aligned at the same space. So as you can see here, the shoulder of the arm is around the uh, the top of the of the glasses. So I'm going to yeah, it looks like it's it's respecting that. And then, so here's 30 uh, degrees. Over here on the on the right arm, I'm going to do minus 30, negative 30. Then I'm going to line a little bit higher, so it's aligned to, with this one. And then I'm going to go a little bit crazy, and I'm going to rotate the shoes a little bit. So this one is going to be minus 20 degrees. Yeah, there you go. And this one is going to be positive 20 degrees. There you go. And that's pretty, that's the most basic. So, oh, also I'm going to change the width of this uh, from 227, I'm going to change it to 300. And I'm going to align it to the center. So the shadow grows a little bit when, when it jumps. So there you go. So we have two states. That's, uh, we can animate this. So I'm going to go to the first um, screen and I'm going to add a, a, a an auto animation. So from here, I'm just going to go here. And then from here, I'm going to do an, the same going back to the first screen. And they, that will create a loop from here to here. And let's uh, let's test it. Let's go to the preview and then automatically it creates that animation between those two states. It's pretty simple uh, and pretty, pretty cool actually. I'm going to actually uh, go ahead and change the opacity of this. So from uh, from 100 to, I'm going to change it to 60. And it's wider, but oops, sorry. And I'm going to go to the preview and it's softer, but also wider. There you go, that's, uh, that's pretty basic. Now I want to add a little bit of delay on the glasses. Like the glasses uh, are, since are, they are in a different level, they uh, they have a little bit of delay to catch up. So I'm going to go to, to here to the animation of this between the donut one and, and, and the first screen and the second screen. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And here on the glasses, I'm going to just make it a little bit slower. Just the same animation, but in just the last keyframe, I'm going to make it a little bit slower. I'm going to do the same with the uh, animation back, just a little, a tad slower. And then it will create this effect where <laughs> it's probably 
too much because we don't want it to be too late, you know? We don't want it to be around there, here. Actually, this one is okay. This one, you don't want it to be too much. So just a tad, just a tad, just to create this effect, like the uh, the glasses are, are catching up. There you go. So now, that was for, good for testing. You can stop there and if you want, just create a simple loop, but we want to do more. So I'm going to actually duplicate the first, and I'm going to, since I want to move it to over here, just, just to keep everything organized, I'm going to move over here, and then uh, I'm going to make it a little bit different. And I'm going to make, like, the jump was a little bit stronger. So I'm going to move the whole body and all of this. I'm going to move it a little bit like around there. And then the eyes around here. Then I'm going to, oops, the mouth also needs to be around there. And then the eyes, I'm going to transform them, and then I'm going to change the height to probably uh, four pixels, so they close a little bit. And then going to move them a little bit, the, the Y position around there. There you go. And then I'm also going to transform the body, so it squishes. It's just like the body and the frosting. I'm going to squish a little bit. The sprinkles, you don't have to, just, you can just move them a little bit, and that will be around that. And then I'm going to move everything, so so the center of the donut is is always in the center. And then let's uh, let's go ahead, and I'm, now I'm going to, to create the loop, I need another one of, of, of the donut jumping, so I'm going to duplicate this one, and I'm going to move it all the way to the bottom, that way it's the last uh, screen and then here um, going to uh, instead of 30 going to go pretty pretty big and then just like it's it's really happy it's a really happy donut then same over here 60 minus 60 there you go and then on this one I'm going to make this leg like it's <laughs> like it it, it it bounced, it, it, it got a little bit higher. And then now I'm going to add all the automatic animations to it. So from here, and also from here, out of to the last one, and then I'm going to close the loop from the last one to the first one. And let's test it out. And now you can see how on that uh, little, uh, on the keyframe in the middle, it just like, like it squishes it, it gets, just like it's taking a, a force to jump up. So, so yeah, you can uh, you can start uh, playing around with it so to make it even more realistic if you want to. Uh, for example, I I want to probably make this even a little bit higher, and and then I'm going to go a little bit crazy with this. I don't know what why, but let's see what happens. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, so so that's it. That's how you uh, create a really simple character animation, just using uh, uh, vector uh, shapes from Sketch, and then just creating uh, different states of that character and adding automatic animations between those screens and then creating a loop. It's pretty simple stuff, but creates a really cool animation. Mm -hmm.